Hello and welcome. Bonjour et bienvenue. Today we're making a French style recipe which is popular across French cuisine. And it's called French onion, onion style chicken. chicken. Yes, onion style chicken, which is really delicious. You guys should try this and stick to the end of the video. So let's go cooking. So let's, let's go. go. She's out for mouth. Hello everyone, now we will show you the ingredients for the French style onion chicken that we will prepare. So first we need three pieces of boneless chicken that we washed and cleaned. So we're gonna take a quarter, a half teaspoon of salt and we're gonna sprinkle it on the chicken. Oh, you meant to say a quarter before, that's the other ones. The salt is the only one that's half teaspoon. Yes. You have to sprink sprinkle it really good across the three pieces. Now the next one is a quarter teaspoon of black pepper powder. And you make sure that you sprinkle it all over the chicken. And then the next ingredients are quarter teaspoons too, so don't forget. So moving on to the last, last chicken. Now the next one is organo, which is also a quarter teaspoon. So sprinkle that too. Now move on to the next chicken. And sprinkle it everywhere. These are mainly put because it makes your, it makes everything smell good. That's the main reason. We will put the after the powders and herbs after this. So Priya, put that one. Yeah. So the next one is a quarter teaspoon of thyme. Sprinkle that as well on top of the chicken pieces. Yes. Now on to the next chicken. A little bit more and that's all. Now the last chicken, we're going to spring some thyme. And the last one is a quarter teaspoon of dry parsley flakes. Now the next chicken. We will flip this. But after we put all the ingredients on one side. Yes. So let's prepare to the next step after this. Okay, now we're gonna flip it to the other side. Now we're done and now just brush it off gently. Pat it like this. Make sure everything spreads all over the chicken pieces. Now let's flip it again. After this, we will go on to the next step. So let's see and continue. Now onto a frying pan, which we switch over. Start adding two tablespoons of olive oil. 
You can also use any cooking oils as optional, but we prefer to choose olive oil for frying this. Now fry the three chicken pieces that we showed you in the first step. Put it one by one, carefully. When you find the chicken, remember that each side takes about three minutes, but altogether it's six minutes in total. It's been three minutes since one side has fried. Now flip it to the other side of the chicken. After you flipped all those sides of the chicken, then let it fry for three minutes. Once that has fried properly. Now it's finished cooking. It took approximately six minutes in total, but we flipped it before on to one side and cooked it, which is three minutes. So now it's ready to take it out. So keep this on to one side and then let's move on to the next step. Now add one piece of butter into this pan and fry it really good. Make sure the butter melts. But onto the same pan that we fried the chicken with, we're using the same pan, pan because the reason for that is we want a different and unique flavor. So just wait for the butter to heat up and wow, it smells really nice. We will add one teaspoon of olive oil. Instead, you can use any optional cooking oil. The reason for this is because we don't want the bottom of the pan to burn up. So that's the main reason we added that in. And next is frying the onions. So we have two sliced up onions, which we'll add into this pan and fry really good. And it'll smell unique because we added the butter. Now stir frying all of it together. Priya. Yes? Did you know this is the main ingredient? It is. What are we making? Onion chicken. So the onion is actually in the title of the food. Yes. Well, the chicken is also the main ingredient. Keep frying the onions until they turn golden brown. That means they're ready and you don't need to fry them anymore. And it probably takes eight to 10 minutes. The onions turn golden brown color. Now add ground down flour. The ground down flour, it, it is about two tablespoons of it. And the reason we're putting this is because the gravy we want it to thicken or to become thick. So mix everything together. You can use any flour, but we're using ground up flour because the, ta is, the taste is different and we like it. Now the important thing is 500 milliliters of chicken stock. You want to add this because when we, you're adding the chicken and the other ingredients after, you want them to get a wonderful flavor so and a wonderful smell so you really like it. Then start mixing it together and frying it. Now we want to add two pinches of salt into it and you have to sprinkle it everywhere. Next is a quarter teaspoon of black pepper powder just like we did before. Now a quarter teaspoon of thyme. Now that's all, and then start mixing it good. Make sure everything comes together. We're gonna cover this pot with a lid because after this boils, we're gonna add the chicken, but right now cover it with a lid. So now it boils, so now take the lid off and then add the three chicken pieces because 
Everything in the pot has already boiled. Now cook the chicken as well with all the ingredients that we put. And this chicken gravy is looking spectacular so far. And be careful please when you're putting it inside. Because it's really hot. So you have to flip the chicken pieces onto the other side because you want the chicken stock to actually spread all over the chicken pieces and the flavor will be really good. After you're done flipping it, you have to let it boil for 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure you pour the some of the chicken stock onto the chicken pieces that you had before so the chicken has flavor. The chicken stock is the one that has the most delicious flavor. After 25 minutes, you saw off the stove top and then we're gonna add some cheese on top of the chicken pieces. But right now the smell, it's really magnificent. And it smells really good. Yeah. You can tell from the aroma and the steam, it's really going good. So now turn the stove off because it's done cooking. Now add three cheese pieces, but one for each one. Put it on top of the chicken. Now the last one goes on the last chicken piece. Now cover it with a lid and one minute is enough. Don't let it heat too much because the cheese might melt too much. After one minute it's done, now take the lid off and take the chicken pieces and put it on a plate. Now take it up and it's ready. This looks really delicious. This is a wonderful recipe. You guys must try this. Now this is the last piece. Now we're gonna take it out and put it onto the plate with the other chicken pieces. Now this recipe is ready to serve. Now we're gonna sprinkle some spring onions that we cut into small pieces. On top of the chicken? Yeah, sprinkle it all over it. You can also add other stuff like coriander leaves. Or parsley leaves, but we chose spring onions to sprinkle on top over us, optional. Now this recipe is completely finished and this looks really wonderful. Now I'll show you what's inside and we're gonna cut this. Now we're gonna cut a piece and show you what's inside. Wow, so this is what's inside. This looks really juicy. And look at the onion. This is the perfect onion and chicken, onion chicken. So now this recipe is completely finished and ready to eat, serve. Thank you for watching. watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and yes, thanks for watching guys. See, See you in the, the next, next video. video. Until, Until then, Bye. Bye. Au revoir.